Ваше Преосвященство, дорогое Господи, Владыка Георгий, собрат и правящий архиерей Австралийско-Новозеландской епархии, дорогие отцы, организаторы и дорогая наша молодежь, всех приветствую из Нью-Йорка, из архиерейского синода, из Знаменского собора, собор в честь Курской иконы Божией Матери. Неделю тому назад мы отмечали престольный праздник не только нашего Синода, но и вашего Собора. Как мы видим, здесь Великая Святыня Курская икона. Икона посещала Австралию много раз. Будем надеяться, что и в будущем году Великая Святыня сможет и еще раз посетить Австралию и Новозеландию. Я вас приветствую в это время, когда у нас рождественский пост. Мы готовимся встретить Бога Младенца. И в эти дни будем стараться поститься, трудиться, больше читать, больше молиться и прославлять Божию Матерь, ту, которая нам родила Сына Божия. Когда мы во время поста так трудимся, молимся, знаем, почему мы так поступаем, мы проявляем как раз эту любовь Божьей Матери и, конечно, Богу. Прошу всех, и молодых, и старших, стараться последние дни поста провести духовно, разумно, спокойно, чтобы правильно как подобает православному христианину встретить великий праздник Рождества Христова. I'm happy to greet all of you, dear Vladika, fathers and youth at your youth conference in Australia. I am here in New York in the cathedral where we have our wonderful and truly wonder-working icon, the Kurskrut icon. We glorify the Theotokos because she is our mother and she bore the one who came to earth to save mankind, to save each one of us. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ preached on this earth, was crucified and rose on the third day, opening the doors to heaven, conquering sin, and giving us also the opportunity in our lives to conquer sin and, at the needed time, enter the kingdom of heaven. I wish you a fruitful conference. I pray for you. I care for you. Please listen to Vladika. Listen to the fathers. Listen to those giving the speeches. And take something home with you. Take something edifying that will help you in your spiritual lives. Around us, the world also is preparing for the holiday, the civil new year, and various events. But where is Christ in their lives? Where is Christ in your life? This is my question to you. As we continue this Nativity Fast, think about what I just asked you. Ask yourselves that question. Where is Christ in my life? How do I act? Do I follow his commandments? Do I love God? Do I love the Theotokos? Do I pray? Do I attend the divine services? These thoughts, these questions should be with us these days of the Nativity Fast. This past Sunday, December 17th, we celebrated the memory of Saint John of Damascus, who lived in the eighth century. A teacher, a monastic, a father, a hymnographer, one who gave his life to the church and to God. We should know that St. John of Damascus wrote the Paschal Canon, the Canon to the Dormition of the Theotokos, many other feast days, and various church writings that defend the Orthodox faith. St. John of Damascus was given many talents from God, and he used them for the church. We were also given much from God. Yes, to you, my dear young people, my dear Orthodox Christians, God has given you the Orthodox faith. He has given you 
the chance to grow, to grow spiritually, to mature properly. He has given you the chance, the talent to attend the divine services. Use all of these things wisely. And you have so much more to build on, but use them to become grown, mature, kind, Orthodox Christians. Use them to beautify the divine services with your talents. But to do that, you practically have to attend the divine services. I urge you to attend the vigil, to attend the divine liturgy, be on time and participate. Some can sing, some can serve in the altar, some can help before and after the services. We all need to do our part. And as St. John received those talents and used them for the church, I want you to also understand the wonderful many talents you have and use them for the church, for the Orthodox Church, for our dear church abroad, so that we and the church may continue for many, many years to come. I stand here before the Kursk icon and I pray for you. I grant you my blessing, and I wish upon you a fruitful conference, a safe conference, and a spiritually edifying conference so that you can go home and renew your spiritual lives actively and spiritually growing with the love of God and the love for the Holy Theotokos. Всех поздравляю! с наступающим праздником Рождества Христова. Я вас очень всех люблю и надеюсь в будущем не только приехать, но и с иконой Курской посетить Австралию и Новую Зеландию и со всеми вами помолиться. Будем проявлять нашу радость о Господе и продолжать тот правильный и нужный путь нашей дорогой зарубежной церкви прославляя нашего Спасителя, зная нашу историю и просвещая всех о Господе. Аминь. Да благословит всех вас Господь. С праздниками поздравляю. Мир вам.